We also have a voter registration QR code that is already created for you all. And we have already collaborated with IPL to create a voter guide with all of these resources in them already. And so the link, the QR code and the flyer are already in this uh, um, voter guide. So I, I thought it was distributed before this, but I know, um, I know that uh, uh, I'll ask Mike to drop that in that link into the chat already too. But awesome, we have a voter registration QR code that all of you all have um, resources to. And so what I want all of you all to do, if you're not familiar with the QR code, go ahead and grab your phone and hold it in your hand right here. I can't see all of you all, but I, I, I believe you guys are being honest. Go ahead and grab your phone because we're going to go through each of these steps so that you can feel com comfortable with this QR code. So one, I'm going to ask that you go ahead and go to your phone's um, camera. Act as though you are going to take a picture of me. And with this, you guys will be able to uh, click the button right here and go directly to your voter registrations portal. All of these resources will be emailed to you in your follow-up email. I want you to know we have the link, the QR code, and the flyer ready for you to use. And it will be included in your follow-up email as well that you, you will receive um, from IPL. Um, awesome. So this is the QR code and you guys are all able to access the voter registration portal created specifically for you all. So let's do a brainstorm. We had a few great ideas of how to use the link already. And I think we had a few great ideas of how to use the QR code because you guys were already thinking ahead of the game. How can you use this QR code in the way that your, your, um, your congregation does business? Let's see. I'm going to shut you guys. Maria said my phone did not recognize the code. Let, I'm going to put it up again for a second. Um, make sure if you should be joining us. Uh, let's see. If you go to your phone's camera and you hover over this barcode, a, a, um, a button should uh, pop up and you should be able to click that and go directly to your um, uh, to the voter registration portal. Yep. The QR code works. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, perfect. So how do you guys want to integrate this QR code into your churches, uh, and not only to your churches, I know we have different faith bodies here, uh, into your congregations work. Okay. Uh, Alan says we can add it into your, our church website into, and into our bulletin, especially if your church is doing physical bulletins, QR codes are also really, really great. Flyers at the back of the sanctuary, you can create your own flyers and QR codes. Maybe you have people scan the QR codes before they go into congregation and they can do that while they wait for the, ser the sermon to start. We can also put it up on a screen just like this. So maybe your church is, already, is also still doing virtual church uh, or, or a doing a virtual services. So you can put the QR code right there on the screen and you can say step one, step two, step three, put the QR code just like this on the screen and have people register to vote all at one time. The QR code could also work for tabling out in the community. That's an awesome way that we can use this QR code. Um, so I'm going to give you guys some of my favorite ideas um, because the QR code is one of my favorite tools because of how creative you can get with for it. And it's also been one of the most effective ways to really make impact. So I really want you guys to think creatively. Um, you can create your own flyers, your posters. We've also seen um, partners put the QR code on t-shirts. So if you guys have any t-shirts coming out um, for your congregation, or you can add them as stickers. So um, this was an actually really creative way that we've had a few partners be very, very effective with stickers um uh, with in putting the qr code on a sticker and I, i'm just giving you this as one of my most creative ways because the sticker on it by people seeing a, a qr code on a sticker 
hand them out at your activities and they're really cost cost they're not very um costly you can do 500 stickers for five dollars and you can print them out now and guess what you can have an incredible impact because you add them as a part of all of your events you can drop them in gift bags you can um include them you can give them to a bunch of young people Lo young people love stickers we love um we want to make sure that more people are uh, are really involved in this, and stickers could be a great way. Put them in your in your congregation's bathrooms, et cetera, et cetera. John had another idea about business cards with their QR codes, but I. I want you guys to know that this QR code is a really effective way. The entry point is always a link, but the QR code is a great way to engage younger people because we know that 89% uh, of the population has smartphones. But for the population that doesn't have a smartphone, no worries, you can just direct them to the link. Mostly everyone has access to Wi-Fi or technology. Or, and if they don't, you can always uh, pull up the, um, you can always pull up the link with a um a a tablet or a smartphone yourself 